Hello everybody and we are back for another chapter of Children of Ursus and before we start I want you to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more uh, me playing Arc Knights and possibly other video games and yeah let's get into it um, so next chap wrong button the next level is SV3 I spent I spent a good amount of time strategizing and this it took me 10 10 practice tries and now I, I found a good I found a decent stra strategy that should work and as you can see uh, my uh, squad is quite on the high end but I think I can switch silver ash with someone um, I end up not using him so maybe we could go with another defend another defender healer or we can go with mid mid he's the same type. so yeah this is it the only high priority operators are nightingale and nian um, and also meteorite she, but i this is the uh, uh, the strategy that i found to be the most uh, optimum uh, so let's start um, with the courier right there now there's gonna be so there's gonna be a pile of enemies over here that aoe damage is very important Your defender and right after that your your aoe sniper make sure your operators are at a very decent level as well so uh, let's put deploy your medic okay Cora got very low there for a second and not a real medic you want your single target medics so that they can focus on healing these two guys here Cora needs to activate her scale because she is quite low switch out courier for someone uh, for a defender now these spiders are doing so much damage that you need to be very careful with them and once the another spider coming up come out on the southern southern box uh, you want to deploy your defender slash healer over in this tower to take care of them and let's see Okay, okay. At this point, uh, let's uh, just let the battle commence and see what happens. You might want to slow it down a bit so that you can get a good grasp of what's going on. You don't want to put units, you don't want to put anyone on these six tiles right here because, um, they, because these tiles are not very safe. Okay, I think we can speed this up a bit. Alright, we got this dude here. He is a Sarkas Swordsman leader. And he deals so a lot of damage. So just be keep an eye on the health of your defenders. And you should be good. And activate your medic skill when you need. There we go. We need more damage. We need more DPS. Okay, and uh, let's just... If you can, just deploy your range guard. I can't even resume the game. Just give me a second. Deploy your range guard over there. Okay, Nian is pretty low, so she needs lots of healing. Okay, this is this is going good. This is going good. Whew. The, this is a lot of pile up here. We need to kill or clear them out so that these spiders don't breach. Okay. These heated path, they are very useful and they deal damage to the enemies as well. So use them very well. Okay, we got only three enemies left. Nice. Let's just deploy someone here to do damage to these two guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. It was quite simple. It was not that hard. It's easy. 
Famous last words. It's easy. Wow, look at all those rewards. Okay, that's it. That didn't take long. Five minutes. Okay, let's see what the next one is. Elite 2. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. Uh, I don't have enough Elite 2 operators. Uh, just to be specific. only I only have Courier as my first E2 operator. And yeah. I plan I want to E2 Silver Ash to get his third skill, but he is so so hard to do. He took he takes so many resources and lots of lots of uh, LMDs and I probably should focus on someone else at this point. But yeah, I don't know if I can I don't know if I can even play the next level just because because this is too high of a requirement. So if there's no video tomorrow, I I just want to apologize in advance. Uh, just that's because I might not be able to complete the map. So, oh, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.